topic that is chemical reactions. What is chemical reaction basically? Two or more substances when they react, two or more substances. react and they form a new substance. That process we call it as the chemical reaction. Basically over here two, two or more substances that we are going to take that becomes the reactants and the new substance that is formed is known as the products. During a chemical reaction many changes that occur there are total five steps. There is the first step is change in state. The meaning of the word state means it can convert from solid to liquid, liquid to gaseous state or in the aqueous state also. Second is change in order. Order means the smell. Third is evolution of gas. In many of the reactions, H2 gas is liquid as well as in the further chapters and all. Now, moving further, that is the last, that is the formation of precipitates. There will be formation of precipitates which will be insoluble in water and all. And the last, that is the change in temperature. As temperature changes, Reactants can go very fast, very fast to, to form the product. Now basically with the types of reactions we have total five types of reactions. That is first one is the combination reaction. Second is the decomposition reaction. Third is the oxidation and reduction reaction. Fourth is the displacement reaction. And fifth is the double displacement reaction. Now going towards the first type that is the combination reaction. Two or a react first one that I would say that is the combination reaction that is the definition is a reaction in which two or more reactors when they combine and they form a single product. That we call it as your combination reaction. Combination reaction is an exothermic reaction where heat is will be released. For example, CaO plus H2O will give you CaOH twice, along with that heat will be released. So CaO is known as for CaO is known as your calcium oxide. Other name for calcium oxide is quicklime. Now going for that is CaOH twice, it is known as your calcium hydroxide. The other name for calcium hydroxide is the slate line. Here here and most of the other examples of combination reaction are burning of coal and second is the formation of water molecules, formation of water from H2 and O2. These are the basic examples of the combination reaction. Now moving further, now moving further that is the second reaction that is the decomposition reaction. What does it mean basically? Single reactant will react and it will form two or more products. Such type of reaction we call it as a decomposition reaction. Example, two FPSO4 will give you Fe2O3 Along with that, what you get? You are going to get SO2 plus SO3. Then FPSO4 is known as your ferrous sulfate and FPSO3 is known as your ferric oxide. SO2 is known as your sulfur dioxide and SO3 is known as your sulfur trioxide. And namely, we have three more types in the decomposition reaction that is the Photolytic decomposition, second is the electrolytic decomposition and third is the thermal decomposition. Thermal decomposition takes place in presence of heat, second is photolytic decomposition takes place in presence of sunlight and electrolytic decomposition occurs in, in presence of electric shifting. These are the basic rules, basic thing for the decomposition reaction.
Clear, clear. Yes. Yes.